Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to the final part of Fortress Europe, which is Fortress Europe Soviet. Uh, so this is basically just a list build for the formations you have in the book. Now luckily for the Soviet players at the time, we had a uh, decent amount of formations compared to uh, some of the others, mainly because they had the longest to wait before a uh, another late war book came out for them. Um, but they are limited, so obviously a lot of their heavier stuff and bigger anti-tank guns will have to wait. Uh, but like decent enough to build on uh, while they waited. So uh, we'll go through the book. Of course, a lot of these um, units are the same as we've seen before. So uh, if the formations contain numerous things that we've already seen, I won't look at them. I'll just look at the main uh, unit from that formation, have a talk at it, and then have a look at the support units that was used uh, throughout the book as well. So we'll start off with the KV-1S Guard Heavy Tank Regiment. Okay, so for this list, um, we have one KV-1S as the HQ. Uh, we then have two units of five KV-1Ss. Um, so that'll probably be my reserve unit. And because they're a little bit faster, not too bad to come in from reserve either. And then we've got a unit of four Churchill six-pounders. And that is our formation. So to help with the lack of AT in the formation, uh, I've stuck in some SU-85s. Now the AT-12 at this point is okay, um, but obviously later on they will start to struggle. Um, we have armoured car, the BA-10 armoured car, uh, as Frank calls the clown car for spearhead. Uh, we then have some solid artillery in the form of the 122mm, and then we have a hero rifle company to back them up. So um, we've got 10 DP, MG and M1891 rifle teams and one commissar. And we've added an additional um, HMG as well. Okay, so the KV-1S, um, aggressive, confident, trained, uh, good counter-attack and last stand on the 3+, plus and a good assault rating on the 3+. Plus. Now, the armour for mid-war is pretty heavy, but for late war, um, lacking a little bit, you'll see a lot more uh, medium tanks with front armour 7 and better gun, and a little bit faster as well when you start seeing the Shermans, and Comets, etc., but if you play in a campaign themed before uh, progression, um, obviously, like you can use these and they'd be pretty good. Um, another limit inside for it, um, the anti tank nine isn't really going to cut it later on in the war. But playing from Fortress Europe is going to be okay. Next form formation is the Churchill Guards Heavy Tank Regiment. So one Churchill for the HQ. Uh, and then we have another unit of four Churchills. So it's kind of like um, the last formation, apart from we have a Churchill as the HQ instead of the KV-1S. So the same idea as the KV-1S is for the reserve. And the support unit, again, is the same. Um, but I think we have an extra flamethrower. No, we have a flamethrower with the Hero Rifle Company instead. Okay, so the Churchill is aggressive, fearless, and trained. Um, a little bit bare armour, so it's front eight, side seven. Uh, of course, it's a lot slower than the KV-1S, but a good cross-check. Again, slightly better than the KV with anti-tank 10, uh, but it's four plus firepower and no HE. So again, starting the struggle the later on in the war, you uh, tend to use these. Next formation is a Hero T-34 Tank Battalion. So we have one T-34-85 now. We have not just 76s as our HQ. And then we have three, we have two units of two and two, so two 76s and two 85s. We have some Hero Valentines as well, a Hero SMG company and some mortars. Um, and then supporting them, we have some armored cars and a T-34 tank company. So they're not the heroes, and then we've got 10 of them, and then basically we've got a half with 85s, and then half with 76. And we had a point to spare, so we checked in a lucky card as well. Okay, so the T-34, aggressive, confident, trained, with a 3 plus tactics rating. So not too bad. Front armor 6 is fairly respectable for what this tank can do. Um, it's got a fast tactical move, and is very uh, good on the dash, and a good cross check as well. Now the T-34-76 is much to be desired with anti-tank 9, 3 plus 5 power and being overworked. 
but now you can have them as 85 millimeters, which is a slightly better range, but it's anti-tank 12 with a 3 plus firepower. So overall, a good amount of these um, will help you take out any enemy armor. Um, but at this point, they're still mixed in with the 76s. So you can always swap the hits onto the 76s. Okay, now we have the Hero Motor Rifle Battalion. So we have two SS, we have two SMG teams for the HQ. And then we have two companies of 10 DPMG teams with a Commissar and a HMG. We also have the SMG company helping them out as well with a flamethrower. Um, a Hero T-34 tank company, so again two for two. Uh, two units of three mortars, one is 120 millimeters and one is 82 millimeters. And then in support, we have some scout cars and another unit of 10 T-34s and again a half-half split uh, with um, 34s, uh, 76s and 85s. Okay, so the Hero Motor Rifle Company is a, is a very good unit, so they are aggressive, confident with 3 plus motivation if the Commissar's alive. They are veteran, but they have a 2 plus assault, which is very nice, but they do have a 3 plus infantry safe like everyone else. Um, but the good thing about them being pinned or not, their rate of fire is 2, and remember they can have a heavy machine gun as well, which gives them an extra 6 shots or 2 if they're pinned or moving. Uh, next is a Hero Rifle Battalion, so we have two SMG teams as a HQ, we then have a company of 10 teams with a Commissar and a Heavy Machine Gun, second company is the same but without the Heavy Machine Gun, uh, an SMG company with a Flamethrower, and again the three 82mm uh, mortars and three 120. Uh, this time we have some SU-85 tank killers, uh, scout cars, and then again 10 T-34s. Half with 76s and half with 85mm. Okay, so the Hero Rifle Company is uh, aggressive, confident, 3 plus motivation with the Commissar and skill veteran uh, 3 plus. So they don't hit on twos in assault, unfortunately. Um, so they only have one shot halted or moving. Um, they remember they can have a heavy machine gun, a Paytard anti tank team, an optional mortar, and flamethrower team as well. So just remember that. So as you can see, they can be kitted out with quite a lot of different things. Uh, next, reconnaissance company. So we have a HQ of two SMG teams in a uh, half track. And then we have two platoons of six SMG teams uh, with three half tracks, so two in each, uh, 82 millimeter mortars and some scout cars. So uh, a lot of um, scout and a bit of spearhead in a formation. Uh, back in the map, though, we have some SU-85s, uh, a Hero Motor Rifle Company, so we have a slightly bigger uh, infantry platoon to help out, and again, our friends, the T-34 Tank Company, half with 76 and half with 85s. Okay, so the Armoured Reconnaissance Platoon, um, so remember, it has got spearhead, so very good. Um, it is aggressive, confident, with a 3 plus last stand, so very nice. A veteran and a 2 plus assault, so not bad. And remember, they have SMGs, so uh, it's a very short range, but it's 3 halted, 3 moving. Remember, if you do get pinned, uh, it does go down to rate of fire 1. Okay, so I prefer this over the scout car that you can have. Um, so it is aggressive, confident, counter attack and remount aren't very good because it's a transport, it's veteran, and with a not very good assault rating because, again, it's a transport. Uh, front one, side one, so it can protect you against small arms, uh, but what it does add is three extra shots with MGs. And remember, you have a unit, you have three of these in your platoon, so that's an extra nine shots. And it's also self defense AA. Okay, so now we have a T-34 tank battalion. So you think you might have seen this before, but that's the hero version. Uh, this one is a uh, little bit greener. So we have one 85 millimeter for the HQ, and then we have that guy we've seen quite a lot, that unit of 10 in the formation. So remember, half with 76 and half with 85. Uh, we then have a unit of eight, again, half, half split. Uh, and then we have a Valentine tank company. So that's four Valentines. Um, and then we have um, two of them with uh, six pounders. Um, we also have a Hero SMG company and six 82 millimeter mortars. Uh, scout cars for our spearhead, and we had enough points for a lucky card. 
Credit to the T34 tank company is aggressive, confident with a 3 plus last stand and a green skill rating of 5 plus. Of course, the armor and the weapons and movement is all the same as the hero. Uh, remember, well, the good thing is, you've got to tank 12 of them. Okay, we have the Lees for the last time in Fortress Europe. So we have a HQ of one M3 Lee long. Now the good thing is they're all long barreled though. And then we have two units of seven. So they most likely will be our reserves because it adds up to 40 points. We have some M3 Stuarts tagging along as well. We've got five of them. We have a Hero SMG company with a flamethrower and three 82 millimeter mortars. Uh, back in the map, some SU-85s again, some scout cars and a Hero motor rifle company uh, with um, two, well, with one extra heavy machine gun and one lucky guard. Okay, so the M3 Lee showing its age now as we come into late war. So it is aggressive, confident, the last stand three plus and green. So what you expect for the tank companies of the Soviet. Front armor five is um, not going to really stand up at this point. Um, movement wise, slightly slower, but our cross checks going to cause problems. Anti-tank 10, obviously keeping up with the Shermans, ain't too bad. Uh, and remember, you've got that little gun on top that can help you out in a pinch. Okay, now the motor rifle company. So two SMG teams for the HQ, and then a motor company of 19 teams with a commissar and an action machine gun, and then second company is the same. We then have three 82mm mortars, six 120s, and our unit of 10 T-34s again. And back in the map, we have some armoured cars and 122mm howitzers. Okay, so the motor rifle company uh, is aggressive, confident, with a 3 plus motivation. Um, if the commissar is alive, they're trained, but with a 3 plus assault. And then the biggest thing that makes them different to the other uh, motor rifle company is a 4 plus save. Um, everything else is again is similar, apart from they only have one shot instead of two um, compared to the hero guys, because these guys uh, don't all have DPMG teams. They have a mixture of that and rifle teams. But they do have hurrah, which means they can charge in six inches rather than four. And the last formation of Fortress Europe and Fortress Europe Soviet, the rifle battalion. So we have a HQ of two SMG teams and we have two companies, both the same. So 15 um, rifle MG teams with a commissar um, and we've added a 40 millimeter mortar and uh, one flamethrower team. I think I've mistakenly added the mortar instead of the heavy machine gun, but you can have a, you can have the mortar if you want, but I'd rather have the heavy machine gun. It's only now as I'm reading out, I've noticed it. Uh, we also have an SMG company with them with 15 teams and a commissar, and we have two flamethrowers with them. I love flamethrowers. And then we have three 82 millimeter mortars and three 120 millimeter mortars. A scout car unit, and again, 10 T-34s. Okay, so the rifle company is aggressive, confident, with three plus motivation if the commissar's alive. Uh, they are green though, however, um, with a four plus assault and a four plus save. But remember they have hurrah. And as you expect, one shot halted, one shot moving, but they can have a lot of stuff. Remember, if you're gonna make your list, to add the correct optional weapon and not an accidental one, which you may end up getting forced to run. Okay, so support units. The BA-10 armoured car was used in quite a lot of the lists just to give us that little bit of a spearhead bubble. So it's aggressive, confident, with a, a six counter-attack. Has a three plus last stand though. Um, is veteran, but a five plus assault. Now for scout cars, it's not got a scout, but it does have spearhead. Um, it also is quite slow and with well, probably the worst cross check I've ever seen. Um, but it does have a 45 millimeter gun, which ain't too bad for a scout car, being anti-tank seven, with a firepower four plus and overworked. And it has a bunch of MGs as well. Okay, so the SU-85 was used in quite a lot of the lists where we didn't have 85mm um, T-34s. Um, so this guy's careful though, so that's nice. Fearless, nice again, with a 4 plus counter-attack. Veteran, so those blitz moves and shooting scoops will be very good. And a 5 plus assault. Um, its armour isn't very good, but it is a box of uh, 
front and side 5. Movement wise is okay, but with a 4 plus cross. But the reason we're bringing it along is that 85mm gun with um, anti tank 12, 3 plus firepower. But bear in mind, that's all it's got, so make sure uh, there's no marauding infantry. Okay, so the artillery of choice, uh, if there weren't mortars available, was the 122mm. So it's aggressive, confident, trained, which is nice because they were all green in the mid war box um, and has a 4 plus gun save. Um, now the thing I like about it more than the other ones is it has a 3 plus firepower when it's uh, firing as uh, a barrage and direct is 2 plus and is brutal. Uh, but remember, like all Soviet artillery, they don't fire smoke barrages, so the infantry are going to be on their own. Okay, so not used in any of the lists today, but is... Um, Kind of updated stats really for this book because they're trained um is the Sturmovic, so it's a flying tank so it's hit on a four plus it's fearless trained so a bit easier now for the bombs and rockets and a two plus save now the 23 millimeter guns are okay with anti-tank six but you'll only have four shots if you've got all of them uh, all your planes alive and a five plus firepower but the good thing is the bombs and rockets being anti-tank five will even make your tigers uh, sweat, no matter what type of tiger, even a tiger 2 is only top armour 2, and it's 4 plus firepower as well. So that is it for Soviet uh, Fortress Europe. Um, decent amount of formations for a Fortress Europe uh, army, uh, just to basically tie the Soviets over until Bagration came up, which we'll cover next and will actually be the last list build I'll be making. Don't worry, I, I'm not having forgotten about Berlin, it's because I've already done it. So um, if you want to peek ahead and look at that, there you go. So until then, keep safe and uh, keep liking and subscribing to the channel. And feel free to comment as well. I do appreciate comments and your feedback obviously uh, incentivize me to make more videos. Uh, and there we go. Thank And thank you guys for watching.